Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Morgan. Um, today I'm going to be doing kind of like an update video. I posted about a year ago, um, like a health update and kind of just an update of how I felt like everything was going like with my life. And it was in the beginning of last year and I felt like I should do an update. So that's why I'm in my bathroom because this is where I filmed the last one. So I figured I would just come back in here and do it. So yeah, let's just jump into the updates. Okay, so the first ones I wanted to follow up with was um, I was talking about my dermatology appointment um, and the bumps that I have on my skin. I honestly like don't have too many. I guess there's one like right there. They haven't been too bad recently. Oh wait, you know what? There's actually a few right here. I don't know if you can see like up on my arm there, but I do get like a little bit of bumps, but honestly, they like don't bother me as much as I used to. Like I used to have them all over and they were everywhere, but they honestly like haven't been that bad. They're only like a few like you just saw. So I'm kind of over it. I honestly think like I get a lot of my legs and I think it has to do with like my hair like when I shave I have no problems but then once I like it's like I get a lot of ingrown hair so I think honestly that's the whole issue but like it's not really bothering me that much so I'm not bothered by it um however I was talking about how the doctors thought it could be gluten related and I was talking a lot about gluten um because I did have that one moment where I ate gluten free and I had no problems with eating and honestly, I don't know if that was a placebo effect or like what had happened with that, but it didn't really help much after that. And I am not allergic to gluten or anything. So I don't think that's what it is, but I'm honestly not too bothered by the bones to further investigate them at this time. So we're just gonna ignore those. Um, to be honest, um, when I was watching through my old video, just to see what I had addressed, I talked about N-acetylcysteine supplements. I completely forgot about those. Um, they were capsules, and as I have mentioned before, I have a hard time taking pills, so I just didn't take them. But I don't know why I ever had the thought, like, I tried, and believe me, it didn't work. But I didn't ever try, like, sprinkling them into food, which you can do, I checked. So I'm probably going to do that, honestly, because... From what I remember, they were talking about how it might help with like repetitive thoughts and like cravings and things like that. And like, just like compulsive picking and things like that. So I'm just gonna maybe try that for like a couple weeks and see if it helps me. Cause I'm gonna talk about my repetitive thoughts pretty soon. On to the next part. Um, so the last video, I was also like a couple weeks away from starting therapy. And I've been in therapy now for almost a year and Honestly, like, I don't want to get emotional, but I just told my therapist because she actually is like, we're going to be slowly tapering down my sessions and things like that. But I told her that even though I know that I did the work, like, I don't feel like I would have did it or known how to if it wasn't for her. So she, I don't know if I would say she saved my life because I wasn't like, you know, that wasn't the problem. But in a way she did because when I first started therapy, like I was, I hadn't gone to the grocery store in forever because I would freak out every time I went and I was like terrified and I would cry. So there was like so many things that like I basically was just going to work. And I kind of mentioned that in my last video a year ago where I felt like all I was doing was going to work. But it really was like, I couldn't do anything like at all. And I just felt like everything was, it was just like very daunting to like live, which sounds it's really sad, but it was. And I just felt like I wasn't living, I guess, but no, it's like absolutely helped me. And I just feel like I have like almost like blossomed as a person because like, I mean, I switched jobs too in the last year, but like looking at me, how I was at work before and like how I am now. And just like in general, I just went to a party with all my old co-workers this weekend and I I just feel like I was speaking up so much and I just feel like a lot more like comfortable with who I am, I guess, in a weird way. 
so I don't know without getting too emotional I guess that's basically like therapy has literally been like one of the best things I've ever done um so yeah, my anxiety I used to literally as I said not be able to go anywhere and I would cry like going to the grocery store and I would feel it in my hands it's been so much better like I I mean I sometimes get my moments you know or whatever but I just feel like I'm a lot better at dealing with it and like recognizing that it's happening and dealing with it and like it hasn't been happening too much in my hands which that was when it was really bad so I definitely feel like that's improved like I still have my moments but you know I'm always gonna have anxiety unfortunately so but I can definitely handle it a lot better now and go to the grocery store and things like that like I know I'll survive um I also like because I'm going to be tapering down my sessions I'm going to bring this up to my therapist again like a little bit more directly hopefully and be like I want to know if this is the right path or like where I can go with this because I was talking a lot about possible like autism or OCD last year I mean it could definitely still be autism but honestly like as I've been dealing with therapy and like my thoughts and things like that I really do feel like it's more OCD because the way I describe it is like I have like cyclic thoughts like it just is like goes in a circle like I get my mind on one thing and I just like constantly will go back to it and even like the same thought and just like and it just drives me nuts because it's like I know I'm not in control of it and so all I'm just I just keep going back to the same thing and I try to forget about it and I just can't and it's just like really I don't know it's hard to focus on anything else in those times and like through you know trying to find other people and things like that I've found the different like categories I guess of OCD and with the amount of guilt that I feel like every single day for absolutely everything for no reason I feel like if I have OCD I probably have like moral OCD where it's basically like you're constantly trying to be a good person and you're like obsessed over it and like you're hyper like you're hyper aware of responsibilities like I found an example and honestly like it makes sense to me but it was like oh if I watch this movie that means that I support whatever it is and I can like agree with that because I don't want to get controversial but like there's certain things like for example like Chick-fil-A I literally refused to eat there because of everything I've heard like against like the LGBT community and things like that which you know it's a valid concern to have but it's like I like banned myself from having it and now I'm like getting over it a little bit where I was willing to try it but they cook everything in peanut oil and I have a peanut allergy basically now so I can't even have it so it's just one of those examples of something that I was not allowing myself to do that's one of those things there's a difference between trying and there's a difference between what I do which is basically like banning myself from doing things like I should not be controlling myself to like the extent that I do because in reality like me doing things like that doesn't make a difference in the world which sounds really bad but you know like I even like feel intense guilt when I throw away food and I start thinking about like the first of all waste of food and how there's people hungry everywhere and I should be grateful that I have food and also the money aspect of it and like all this stuff but it's like if I'm not hungry or I can't handle eating it because of my other health issue I shouldn't have to feel guilty but I do like there's been times that I've cried over it just because I can't finish food not only for my own personal reasons you know where I feel bad but just in general like as a whole like for the world I feel bad and it's just like I should not I'm not the only one responsible for that you know like I'm just overly conscious about things like that and like I think about things that I like said to like you know my ex friends or something in like middle school when I was 13 and I start to think about it and I think that like I'm a terrible friend a terrible person for things that I said like 10 years ago when I was 13 years old like just things like that like I just constantly feel guilty for everything and I just feel like everything's my fault like even when I have to call no shows at work and tell them to reschedule and they go off on me like I'm the one that feels bad because I'm having them reschedule when in reality they didn't show up or call us or anything like that's not my problem but I just like always feel 
intense guilt over everything and I just think about what I should be doing and it's like constant and I'm just sick of it and I think that's like the moral OCD so I'm going to talk to my therapist about that and see what she wants to do because again we're slowing down our sessions um, because she's transitioning jobs so I'm gonna basically like get as much guidance from her as possible but also like see if she has anyone that she would want to sort of like transfer me to that maybe works with OCD because I would like greatly appreciate having some sort of control over my thoughts because I don't know it's a lot like I'm just I feel like I'm constantly fighting myself over what I should and shouldn't do so yeah also I still struggle with um sensory issues but I'm and I'm getting to the point where I'm more comfortable saying that I have sensory issues like I'm not hiding it as much but I still would like to get over it but I don't know if that's an option um but I do know I've made so much progress in the last like year I've been in therapy so I'm pretty proud of myself and I hope to continue and then also figure out like you know potential OCD and my sensory issues and things like that but we've made major progress with my anxiety and just like my I guess identity and just like I just feel a lot more comfortable with who I am I guess so and some people probably will have the um question like why do you want to be diagnosed with OCD and it's just one of those things or just anything but I'm just like I know and even my boyfriend said I was like I have something else besides anxiety there just has to be and I just want to know what it is so that I can properly like I mean not only find the help for it but also like identify with it and like have that label like I know it's you know labels can be bad and like things like that but they are important to me just because I want to know how to describe myself and who I am and what it is and I just it means like a lot to me so I want to figure that out and that was um honestly I might talk to my therapist about that too that's one of the goals that I basically have for this year is to get a diagnosis for whatever is going on with me and my thoughts because you know it can all be related to anxiety but I've done so good with my anxiety and these other thoughts are like almost getting louder because there's like more space in my head for them without the anxiety almost so I don't think it's the anxiety so I don't know why I'm like about to cry but I guess it just shows how meaningful it is to me to like figure out what's going on um ooh, hold on so the next thing I'm going to move on and update about is my gastroenterology appointment I believe I mentioned that I had one scheduled um so I did go and they had me do an endoscopy which was like a tube going down to like I believe it started went to my um, intestines, if I'm not mistaken, or my stomach. I don't know where it stopped. That's the data for that and everything. Um, and they found a polyp on my vocal cord. And they also found a, I feel like it's called a hiatic hernia, which is basically like the top of my stomach is a hernia that's going through the diaphragm that's swishing my esophagus. So those weren't really related to my issue where I have to explain that, I guess, where I can barely eat because I get intense pressure in my chest and pain and like weird growling noise and then it goes down and I've been experiencing severe bloating and gas and just like intense pain where sometimes I feel like I'm having major cramps or possibly getting stabbed so that is fun and it lasts for hours after every time I eat so um that's kind of a summary of what's going on with me so I went to a ENT this month in February of 2023 because the gastroenterologist wanted me to go to get that palate on my vocal cords checked out um and we did like a i don't remember what they called it but i got a little camera put down my throat and we looked at my vocal cords and i got to watch the video too and basically my vocal cords i don't have a polyp but they're basically bruised like purple from acid reflux and heartburn like severely which is one of the feelings that i have so I've already been taking Pepsin, like, once a day at least, but he had me start taking Prilosec in the morning and Pepsin in the 
p.m. So like when I go to bed. Um, also, he mentioned that the basically the irritation makes me cough, but me coughing is making it worse. So I'm working on like it, the way he said it, trying not to cough as much, which sounds stupid, but like I'm trying to drink more and like swallow and things like that instead of coughing when I feel the irritation. So that's been fun. A little weird. Um, part of the sec, I was a little bit nervous about taking it because it is a capsule, but I have been twisting it open and spring healing it into frosting so far, and it has been working great. Um, and then I took my pop said chewables, so that's fine. And I follow up with him in the middle of March, so we'll see if I've improved at all. Um, I did bring up too because the whole issue I'm having, I think it is called, I believe it's retrograde cricopharyngeal dysfunction or RCPD, which is basically like the lower sphincter of my esophagus doesn't work properly where um, the gas can't escape basically. So that's what I think it is and I told him and I brought articles and everything. Um, so he recommended just like the gastroenterologist that I get motility testing specifically I believe it's called an esophageal manometry test, which is where they take a, another camera, I'm getting many cameras, um, put down my throat. I think they go up my nose and then it goes through my throat and it's got like pressure sensors on it. And I believe it takes half an hour and I just like drink and eat things and swallow while they're like telling me what to do so that they can kind of like measure the pressures and things like that in my throat and see if my esophagus works properly. So I have that scheduled at the end of May. Um, I am not looking forward to the actual physical testing of it because the camera that I already had on my throat for the vocal cords was pretty uncomfortable and that wasn't very long of a process. So half an hour of having a camera farther down kind of freaks me out because I'm awake, but I know I'm gonna get through it and this is what I've been waiting for because this is how I would be diagnosed with RCPD. And I strongly believe that's what I have. If I have something else, you know, I'm completely up to the, you know, possibility, but I want to rule out RCPD because I have every single symptom and all you need for that, like for treatment is just like a Botox injection in your esophagus. So again, as I was talking about how I just want a diagnosis, I want a label to know what's going on. That's another one of my goals this year, if I can help it. Like, I want a name. I want to know what the heck is going on. I want to be able to, you know, instead of explaining all my 25,000 different symptoms and weird, you know, all stuff, I just want to say like, oh, I have this condition. Uh, I just want to know. And then, um, I don't think I brought this up in my last video. But I'm just going to kind of address it. I do want to go to a dentist. Um, I'm going to be going probably later this year. I haven't set up an appointment, but I'm just trying to like, you know, I'm already dealing with like therapy and this whole thing that I want to wait on the dentist. Kind of sucks, but like I can't, I don't feel like I can handle that much all the time. So I'm just going to hopefully wait on that. Um, a little bit later in the year when I have more answers and things like that but I do want to do that and as much as I'm afraid of it probably like pull teeth and get more dental work done instead of doing what I usually do and saying yeah I'll call back and then I don't ever call back um <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be doing that um but overall like as much as it's been hurting financially I got my own like private insurance that I'm paying for so I have a lot more options of doctors and things like that that I can go to. So I just feel a lot more like I can get the help. Because before I was just very limited on like who would accept me and things like that. So I feel like I'm making pretty good progress. Hopefully I will have another update sooner than a year from now. Um, don't know exactly when, I'll just have to wait for something to update you on. But I just wanted to address what has happened in the last year. and. Hopefully I get answers for the rest of the year. Um, comment down below if you have any similar experiences to me, um, because especially dealing with health issues um, and mental health and things like that, you often feel like you're the only one. And I, I know that I'm not, but I would just love to talk to somebody else who possibly is experiencing any of this. 
or has any experience with any of this because at least in my life I'm the only one that deals with all of this and I just would love to feel like there is somebody else out there that does too. So yeah, let's hope that I get some things figured out and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!